So this is Subruti number five, and this is probably one of the most common and easily identified as a Japanese sword technique um, that you've ever seen probably in a movie. So let's move on to number five. Start in this position. One, and then from here, you raise up. What I'm doing is I'm creating like a little box for my head. Okay, a little box for my head. I step forward and turn. And then I sink back into my cut. And then from here, again I make a box for my head. Come in here. Elbows are relatively close together. Here. You see I've already started to move off the line a little bit. And then I come around, step forward, and sink into my strike. Okay? So let's watch that in motion. So I, I've seen some of this before. People go like this. Do, 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 do. And uh, it's kind of, basically what you want to do is keep the same level. You want to keep, get nice and synced into your stance so that you can turn around at any time, like this. And you always have power and stability, okay? Like that. Come in like this. And what's generating the power is your hips. Okay, coming in. Oh. Okay, in here. Ah. Like this. You gotta feel it. You know, you can only watch so many Aikido videos before you have to finally step on the mat and feel it yourself. Okay, so, I hope that helps. That's Subruti number five.